If it's too good to be true, you know the moral story, it probably is. Well, this video is inspired by one of my YouTube subscribers here. He says, my partner's about ready to invest in this gang and water machine here and please give us some videos where we can, you know, tell them that it's a little too good to be true. So my name is Amanda, for those of you just checking in here, I was in the King & Water business for over 12 years of my life and I'm grateful for them because it brought it to me where we are now, which is debunking the whole alkaline water is a great benefit to you. So alkaline ionized water has no therapeutic benefits according to all the research that's out now. The only reason to drink this water, this alkaline ionized water, is the molecular hydrogen. So if you've been to one of the demos that the King & Water company does, I used to do them too, and this is how we're educated. So don't get upset at the person that showed you this. And if you are doing this and you're watching this for the first time, change your presentation so you're not adding these things in it because it is false and we don't want to give people false hope. So micro clustering, that's what this video is going to be about today is, is there really such thing as micro clustering? The answer is absolutely no. And I'll go ahead and put in the comments below, there'll be two research articles. 10 years of information about all the misconceptions of alkaline ionized water, and that's brought to you by Tyler Barron, who is the founder of the Molecular Hydrogen Institute. Check his website out, you're gonna be so excited you found his website. All right, so no microclustering. So the whole theory behind this was, as you drink the Kangen water, you don't feel it going in your stomach, and so it doesn't make you full and bloated. And that's really not anything to do with the microclustering, it's more with the pH, because as you put the water in your body at the high pH, the body senses like, oh my gosh, what is this? And it tries to get it in and get it out. So it opens up the duodenal sweep and it expels that water out of your system because it's like, what is this? This is like really high, high pH. This is not normal for my body. So it tries to get it in and it tries to get it out. But then the other thing to back that up is they say the water is microclustered. That's why you don't feel it. So it gets in the cells. And so as you drink it, of course, it's getting into the cells, it's hiding in the cells, and toxins are gonna leave the body more effectively, so-called the belief. In order to show you that, they have this tea. So this tea is supposed to represent your cell, okay? And when you try to make tea with cold water, what normally happens? You can't make tea, and I'm gonna prove that to you right here. So here's Dasani water. Now Dasani water on the pH scale is actually acid, so I'm gonna show you that too. Okay, so here is Dasani water. It's acid water. And they're gonna make you believe that acid water is really bad for your body. When, when in all reality, it's purified water, which means reverse osmosis, and that's clean water. Yes, it's void of minerals, but those type of minerals aren't really the best for your body. You want minerals that are coming from plants, not rocks, if you really wanna get scientific about it. All right, so now what we're gonna do here, is actually, actually I'll take some Dasani water, and what I've got here is pH drops. So these are pH indicating drops. So if it's orange or yellow, it's gonna be acid. If it's blue or purple, it's gonna be alkaline. So here is orange. So as you see, Dasani water is acid, it's orange, okay? Now, if any of you know about bleach, bleach is alkaline, bleach is alkaline. So to prove that to you, what I'll do is I'll take this acid water over here and we'll put a little, it's the same Dasani, We'll put a little bit of bleach. Okay, just a tad, oops, just a tad. Probably should have a fork or spoon, but it's okay. We'll just put that there, and now we're gonna test the pH. Okay, so just because it's alkaline does not mean it's good for you. Okay, so that is a chemical change right there, putting alkaline in there, but as you can see, it's alkaline. Now, what are we gonna do? Now, normally, you would not be able to make tea with cold water, as we just did here. Now, what about if we take a little bit of Dasani here, actually, this is what we'll do. We'll take a little Dasani here, and we already know it's acid because we already tested it, and now this time, we'll put a little bit more. This time we'll actually add the bleach water, or the bleach, sorry, whoops. Okay, and as we have that bleach. All right, so now we have the alkaline water here that we just tested. Very important, tea, Green tea specifically is a pH indicator. So the higher the pH, doesn't matter how you're creating the pH, could be baking soda, could be bleach, it's gonna be looking as though it's more green. If it's acid, the tea is indicating the pH and it's gonna look like there's not a lot of tea. So as the, there's more tea, there's a higher pH and you can see that with the pH drop, so continue. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the tea bag and we are, wow, look at that tea, it's coming right out. So as you can see, if you really believe that theory, 
you would notice there that uh, <laughs> bleach is not microclustered. So to, to go back again, let's do this. We'll take a little bit of this alkaline water and we're gonna go back over here. So before we would do this with Kangen water. Oh my gosh, look at all the tea that comes out. It's gotta be microclustered. And so you get scared because you're like, oh my gosh, they say I can't take medication with this water because the microcluster is gonna help it get into my body more. And they say you wanna take the multivitamin with the higher 9.5 because it's more microcluster, it's gonna get into your body. It's not true at all whatsoever. So I hope that helps you out there. Um, you know, just to give you a little bit more in depth of why I'm doing what I'm doing, a lot of people are commenting on my videos that are in the Enagic company and they're very unhappy with me because I'm exposing these myths. And the reason I got out of the company is not because I was kicked out. I was never kicked out. What happened was is my account got suspended. Why did that happen? Because the FTC and the FDA is who regulates the network marketing or MLM companies. And it wasn't just me, it was a whole bunch of Enagic distributors that were online. And the reason we had notifications is because the FTC came down on a whole bunch of network marketers, companies, the company owners, when COVID-19 was going on. And they says, we don't want any claims out there, we don't want anything online, nothing about income, nothing about health. And so the video that I did that was flagged was me in the kitchen with one of these devices on the countertop in the back. And I had a book called Killing Cancer, Not People. That book is from a good friend of mine, Bob Wright. He's the founder of the American Anti-Cancer Institute. So in this book, he talks about artificial sweeteners. And I do have a brand, it's a sweetener that tastes like sugar, looks like sugar, but there's no calories in it. And so I was promoting that product in this book. It talks about how bad the artificial sweeteners are. So I'm telling my audience, you guys, about this sugar that don't take NutraSweet, Aspartame, or any of that. And then that video goes out there. And because there was cancer on that book, and there was a machine in the background, even though I never talked about the Kangen water whatsoever, that video is what got me suspended. So I was unhappy that I got suspended over that because I've been with them for 12 years, helped them make millions of dollars. And when I got that notice that I was suspended until I took down my YouTube channel, my Facebook, my Instagram, and my website, I had to take everything down. Anything that associated me with any kind of water business, I'd take down. So I decided I was not gonna do that. No, I had been doing it too long and you know, I, I just said no. So I said, okay, well you're suspended for 30 days until you decide that you're gonna com be compliant. So after 30 days, they took my checks away. I was like, okay, I, I kind of probably should, you know, take, take it down just because I'm a little concerned that I have bills to pay too. And so I went ahead and uh, you know, took down everything, everything. And um, you know, at the same time, I'm starting a water store in our local area here. I have a 5,000 square foot building. I have sinks being installed. I spent a couple hundred thousand dollars putting this whole thing together. And then um, they tell me also that I can't put the Kangen machine in there. Well, I can, but then they want 10% of my gross sales from the center and from all the centers I'm gonna have any machine associated with it. So if you have a business and you put the King and Water Machine in your business, go through the compliance, the paperwork that you get when you sign the agreement that you wanna be a distributor because they can take a royalty fee of 10%. So I was like, I don't wanna give them 10%, that seems unfair, I'm working, you know? So long story short, I cut the social media, now you have the store I'm trying to build, and then I start coming out to the audience, you guys, and I start talking about yoga. I start talking about nutrition. I start talking about exercise. And everyone's like, what happened to the Kangen water? You're like the Kangen queen. We love watching your videos. And um, I just said, Phew, I can't put them out there anymore. And so my team fell apart because they didn't know what they could say either. And then I just kind of stopped the love for Kangen water and I started doing a lot more research. I got involved with Tyler Barron, uh, Taiwan Hubbard. You probably heard of his wonderful YouTube videos on H2 Hub, and his YouTube channel is fantastic, so check him out. Um, you got H2 Analytics with uh, certifications behind hydrogen, you have the Molecular Hydrogen Institute, you have Bob Sergelli. So I started researching, I started getting myself involved in everything. And then that's when I found out, wow, there is a lot of things that, when you're in the company of Nagic, they don't really want you to see at all. They do not want you to see this. And the reason is because you're gonna find out this. You're gonna find out that all these things they're telling you is not true. But unfortunately, when you're trying to sell a very high ticket item and you're in that kind of a business, you're gonna say things that aren't true because that's what's getting other people to wanna to do it too. And so my goal here is not to be angry and upset at the company. You know, I'm grateful, like I said at the beginning, for them. 
but I want you all to be educated so you're not falling victim of this information and thinking it's true. You're going to your doctor and the doctor looks it up and is like, yeah, no, there's no such thing as microclustering. The alkalinity of that type of water is not gonna change your body's pH. And then you really start getting down to the molecular hydrogen, you realize there's a lot better technology out there to make the molecular hydrogen. And so then you don't have to clean and maintain all the units and you're not gonna have a calcium all building up in there. So anyways, that's the main, that's the main, um, reason why I'm coming out here and sharing this information with you. So thank you again for subscribing to my YouTube channel and I'm really grateful for all of you. You can comment below and be nice out there because some of you are not very nice because it's taking away your business and I understand that truly. But we're here to share true health. Remember that's the company logo, true health, that you want to make sure you're giving them true health. Okay, we'll see you next time in the next video. Be happy, be healthy, and be free.